Hello, hello, hello guys. Hope you're well. It is Saturday the 21st of March 2020. The start of Aries, the start of a brand new zodiac sign. That's not what we're here to talk about today. I am Tendai Chagweda from Quest for Success and I am that vision board extraordinaire as well as being a DJ teacher and a social media coach. So, just wanted to follow up on that fantastic call which took place um, nearly three months ago. Actually, it was over three, uh, February, March, two months ago. Yeah. So coming up to the end of quarter um, one of 2020, and I thought it's going to be a great time to chase you guys to see how you done with the um, the vision board training that I provided. Um, nearly this time two two months ago this time and two weeks um ago two months ago so we uh, trained you guys on how to create vision boards why you should be creating vision boards I had loads and loads of people um join me for that call i think we had 300 people that joined us for the call on the day that i've done the training it was amazing and i think since then we've had um we've had over a thousand people follow that call and loads of people contacted me via the email link which i shared for a free template that just fell down this free template i will show you did you get your free template on how to create a vision board there's a version behind here um, showing each of the areas in life which I recommend people have on their vision board and this here is what you guys were sent via email if you requested it yeah so you had a template I showed you guys that a vision board obviously most people know a vision board is like a collage of words and images of things that you want to achieve in life now you could put any old thing on a vision board you can create it digitally of um physically so cutting things out from magazines for example and then find any old thing but the tr training that i provided which ended up being two hours and two uh, two hours and three quarters yeah so nearly three hours mm -hmm. the training that i provided it shared how to um it shared the best practice for me personally what's worked for me on my vision board and in each of the life areas ranging from health to wealth home and passion i man manifested a number of things um, and in my vision boards i was able to to be focused and and be quite succinct in what i was requesting from the universe now for those of you that did do the work well done um, the work comprised of finding out what you wanted in each of those areas so I encouraged you guys to um, print out the pdf which I sent to you um, and then you write down things that you want in each of those areas and then you print it out yeah so you're not you're not letting magazines or images on the internet dictate what you're going to put on your board you are actually um, making it a mission making it be known to the universe what you want ask and you shall receive and as many of you guys know i let you know you need to be specific so encourage um i created a facebook group um and uh, on a monthly basis was taking payment from a couple of people that joined that facebook group people that wanted to get really really clear with their goals and within that group we've been doing um quarterly or monthly goals for each of the eight life areas um and then i encourage people if you didn't you're not going to set yourself a quarterly goal sorry a monthly goal to at least set yourself a quarterly goal so i just really wanted to encourage people to stick at their vision boards and to set themselves goals and we're coming up to the end of quarter one that ends on the on january 31st sorry march 31st yeah so it's important just like companies set them people organizations entrepreneurs um businesses set themselves quarterly goals um and it's important as an individual for you to do so too because many people try to set themselves monthly goals they don't usually keep it up starts off well in january and then people come february march they're falling off the wagon so i just wanted to basically hold you guys account accountable find out how you're done with your vision boards did you 
complete edit vision boards? Do you know what the difference is between a, a digital vision board and a physical vision board? Got quite a few, a few questions for you guys. Is what I ask in my workshops. Um, do you know how to create a digital vision board? So within the um, within the training that I do for you guys, um, that I done for two hours and uh, two hours and three quarters. Um, I show you just the basics, which was getting clear with your goals. But thereafter, you have to physically make the vision board, right? Um, and I made one of my vision boards on PowerPoint, and I done another mm -hmm. on a, on an app, which was the equivalent to Photoshop, um, and started manifesting like a boss. Manifested everything from Bitcoin to office premises um, across London. Got forty of those now which I can use at my leisure, so really, really blessed, um, and that's where I've done the training from, um, on when I've done the first vision board training, on National Vision Board Day, um, January the 11th, 2020, that was. Mm -hmm. Another question to ask you guys, do you know what the law of attraction is, and how that is um, related to vision boards? If you do, let me know in the answers below. And also, do you know why working out your purpose is important when creating your vision board? Why do you think that would be important? I went into that into some depth um, in the very first vision board training. So if you're watching this for the first time, I highly recommend you scroll up. In fact, I've pinned it to the top of this page and you'll see um, you'll see the, the training session there. Um, and within that, I let people know that when you create a vision board, you'll see here on my vision board at the very top there, I've written down what my purpose is to assist people to transform their vision to reality um, through the power of positive thinking and goal setting. Positive thinking through the power of positive thoughts and action and doing it happily. So I've been really, really clear. I've manifested some fantastic clients from um, from doing this particular call. Um, and people have come to my offices in the Shard and started on working on their vision boards. But first and foremost, getting clear with what their purpose is. Because once you realise what your purpose is, I'm not going to let you know what the answer to that question is. Because I did ask you in the um, comment just above, um, just two minutes before, asking what is the the reason why you should discover what your purpose is before creating your vision board so i'd love you to answer that at your leisure for those of you catching this in the replay let me know in the comments where you're calling from i'm going to do an, a proper call on the 28th of march so next week saturday i'm going to time it i'm going to find out what time's convenient for you guys to do this follow-up call just to give you guys time and um, within the next week to say do you know what with this corona um, situation going on have I been focusing on what my my real dreams are have you been creating your plan b yeah because when it comes with this vision board creating this is all creating your plan b when I created my vision boards um, and I knew I discovered what I wanted in my career section so within all of this there's a section there called career and I discovered what, exactly what it is I wanted to be doing, getting booked for public speaking engagements, teaching a lot more, enjoying it, going to other countries, had an opportunity, um, but this coronavirus kicked in. So I've just got to go now to, you know, that was plan C. <laughs> I'm going back to plan B, basically. So are you using your vision board to help dictate your future, your destiny, what you want to be doing? Um, for leisure and for pleasure is that right leisure pleasure and you know professionally yeah what do you want to be doing on a on a nine to five basis are you letting um are you letting the system dictate your nine to five because of the current situation that we're in a few people have to be let go from their job fortunately a few of us are going to be covered with this 80 percent i say us i don't even think i'm in that bracket or you're going to be get your wage could be covered um 80 percent of your wage what are you going to do in the meantime yeah are you having to work if you're allowed to have time off work have you created your plan b in that template which i set you guys did you set aside 
some time to find out exactly what you want to be doing in your career? Did you create your dream career in your mind? Because for those of you that answer the question as yes, you will understand that, wow, this is the law of attraction pushing me to do certain things. Sometimes we have to be pushed into action, unfortunately. We're very reactive people. Yeah, we don't do things. um, We do things out of fear. Mostly, most people do things out of the fear. Yeah, unfortunately. So are you create? Have you created your vision board? If not, did you um, request the template which I shared um, when I created the very last um, call when I done this back in the 11th of January? And within those goals, did you then write down? what it is that you wanted because if you did you will find that situations will present themselves promise you for any of you guys that did uh, there were uh, there was over 12 13 1400 viewers on that last call let me know if you manifested anything whatsoever let me know if you put in the work because i know not a lot of people put in the work do let me know which country you're calling in from do let me know what you found useful um, from the last vision board call which I done and let me know what you found useful for this um, very very quick live call that I've done and let me know if you took any action at any of the stages because time is ticking we could potentially be homebound for three months is that when mm-hmm. what's going to force you to say like all right let me just create my dream board because you've been forced potentially to to isolate yourselves what are you going to be you doing with that time how are you utilizing that time so definitely for me i'm going to be doing this call this time next weekend yeah to kick you guys butts into action find out how you're manifesting your dream life how you're letting the universe know you're serious about living and leading the life that you would like i had a random call from a um sorry a message an inbox from an artist who said i've been let i've been made redundant from my job i've been let go but all is not lost i'm getting in touch with my artist self and i've seen this picture of you can i draw you and i'm just like oh bless how positive is that there's a random person saying she's lost her job but she's she's got a picture of me she showed me she said this picture of you is and which is when i was actually in greece i got a one-way ticket in greece and manifested two fantastic jobs out there yeah but all of these things i create them in my mind first and then i get approached with situations in one of the situations i approach them um are you manifesting the life that you would like to be living in all areas doesn't happen for all areas for me i'm not fulfilled in every single one of my areas but my career area, definitely happy with um, the direction it's going in. So I thought I'd just do that very, very, very quick call. Keep it short and sweet. Take care of yourselves. The comments aren't coming up. Sometimes it doesn't work or it just could be because no one's actually commenting. Please do let me know where you're listening in from, what you found handy. Did you listen into the other call? Did you create a vision board? Let me know in the comments. All right, guys, take care, happy manifesting, and stay safe, blessed, and healthy. All right, mm-hmm. and happy Mother's Day for tomorrow. All right, bye.